Hello everyone, in this video I will discuss about futures in Dart programming language. Before we begin, let's understand why is asynchronous code important. Asynchronous operations lets your program complete while waiting for other operations to finish. Suppose we have an asynchronous operation, like here in the left side. After some time, if the fetching of the data is complete, then we could have it in. And then later on, we could read this data from file. And after a few more moments, we could then write it into the database. Now, how is this asynchronous operation achieved in Dart? We could use future class and async and await keywords to achieve such. So I will show you the Dart pad. And as an example, I will build a happy birthday song lyric generator like, uh, like the one you're seeing in the console. And we, we could begin by importing the Dart async. Like so. And then I will print ready sync. try to run this there you go now what is a future a future is an instance of a future class and a future represents the result of an asynchronous operation which could have two states uncompleted and completed now how do we create a future so as an example I will create a function, a future function, with a return type of void. And I will name this function as line 1. I will return future dot delayed, and this will accept two parameters. The first one is the duration. And this will print and after two seconds rather, it, this will print a line. And this line will be the happy birthday to you which is the first line in the song i could just copy this line one right here paste it below the first print line and if i click run two seconds later the first line is returned there you go so our future is working correctly. I'll just copy them and then rename them as line two and line three respectively. I will also change their duration to represent the different moments in time in which they will happen. And there you go, I'll just change the line names. And if I click run, ready, sing, first line, second line of the song, and then the third line of the song is produced. Now, 
I have only shown you how to create a future with a return type of void. But what if I have a future having a return type of string? Is it possible? Can we do it the same way? Uh, let's try. I will just name this to line 4 and this one will have a return type of string. Since this will have a return type of string, I will have a string variable named greeting and this greeting right here will have a string value. And then instead of returning a print function, I will just return a greeting. I will print the output of line 4 function. And let's see if this will work. If I click run, you will immediately notice that there is an instance of underscore future with a return type of string. The first three of our futures are working correctly while the fourth one is having an issue. Now, why is this happening? And uh, how can we solve this issue? We could solve this issue by using async and await. The async and await keywords provides a declarative way to define asynchronous functions and uh, use their results. So in order for us to solve this, I will just put in async after the name of the function and await after the return keyword but before the method right here. And let's try to click run. This will still have an error, and the reason for that is our main function does not have the same keywords. And there you go. If I click run, ready, sing. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. And there we have it. We now have a lyric generator created using futures and async and await keywords in dark programming language. So if you like this video, please click the like button and you may also click subscribe to see more videos on my channel.